All right, what's happening, everybody? It's your boy Akeem. Welcome to this vlog. Here to give you a preview of the Oregon State Beavers for the 2015 college football season. Now, last season the Beavers went five and seven, and they pretty much got rid of the entire coaching staff. They have a new head coach, defensive coordinator, and offensive coordinator. The new head coach is from Wisconsin, and Gary Anderson. The offensive coordinator is Dave Balding, coming out of Colorado State, in which he was the quarterback coach. For for um, Garrett Grayson, who is now with the New Orleans Saints. And defensive coordinator and Kalani Sitak, um, Sitak out of Utah, I think this was a great addition. I think this could be a good um, core um, as, as far as coaching-wise, but they still have a lot of work cut out for him and I, for this team. And I think this is going to be another down year for Oregon State. Now, last season, like I said, they went 5-7, and seven, and that is with their quarterback, Sean Mannion, who's no longer with the team. I believe he's with the St. Louis Rams. So that means um, Seth Collins will get the starting knot at quarterback to replace Mannion. Now, they do have a couple other impact players, and Vic Victor Bolden, he's actually and, and, and Victor Bolden and Jordan Velleman, they're actually the top two receivers um, returning this upcoming season, as well as the top running back in Storm Woods, who is a senior, 766 yards rushing and five scores. He's going to have to carry a lot of work in running the football, and they have a decent cornerback as a senior in Larry um, Scott, who had 11 pass breakups last season. Now, as far as the incoming freshmen, they have a couple of okay recruits, starting with. Um, um, Fala uh, Lucas out of the four star recruit running back. I think he's a decent player, as well as Christian Falu, the inside linebacker, and Jalen Moore, a good safety coming out of high school. They're decent players overall. As far as the recruiting class, everybody more wants to go to Oregon as far as the top recruits. And Oregon State's going to have to a lot, have to do a good job as far as the recruiting process for the upcoming years. Now, like I said before, I think they're going to have a down year. I think they're going to go three and nine overall this season. Going Five and seven with a top, a, a a better quarterback. That is not too well. And I think with the loss of Mannion, I don't think this team is going to be the same <laughs> this upcoming season. I think they're going to go eight and four at best. But I do predict them going three and nine this season. Now I have two more blogs for you today. I'm going to catch you guys in just a couple of minutes. Thank you for watching this blog. I'm your man, Keen McCall. Be easy.